Hi there, uh, I'm with Judy Mack and I'm going to get her to introduce herself. Um, I'm going to interview her in a second and I'm going to let her tell you uh, where we are right now and I'm just going to get a, a quick, um, she's my art director too, so she's going to tell me exactly how I should be shooting this. So I'm going to get a little bit of a, a view here with the old flip cam. This is stunning. Hopefully the flip cam does it justice. And there is the amazing Judy Mackin. Judy, can you introduce yourself please? Hi Dave, I'm uh, Dave's the only person that can call me Judy and get away with oh, it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Judith Mackin. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, a mother, as of this past weekend, a grandmother. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. And um, I live and work, breathe, and love living in St. John. Now, now, tell me a little bit about how you work in St. John. So, I mean, you are passionate about this community. Yeah. And um, you have this amazing ability to and to kind of merge business and arts in, in, in my opinion right. can you tell me a little bit about that how you're doing that so yeah business and arts I see it as a symbiotic relationship and that came to me very early on probably in the mid 90s when I started doing um, art gallery work and I was kept looking to the province and kept looking to Canada Council federal funding trying to grant right and find ways for the government to you know give us funding and I started to realize that it was better to go local because businesses wanted to actually support the art. So um, I guess over the last 15 years, a lot of the events that I've done and um, a lot of the relationships and the collaborations that I've done have all been merging business to, to support arts. And, in, and on the other side of that, Dave, is businesses are happy because they're getting a creative injection into what might otherwise be perceived as a bit of a banal industry in some respects I guess so okay so and then and you I mean you've actually created some some really cool businesses have spun out of this space right can you yeah. tell me a little bit about the businesses sure um, well I never consider myself an artist I always surround myself with other artistic types and they don't necessarily have to be artists or sculptors but just creative thinkers yeah. and um, one thing that I love about St. John is that everybody is really open to helping you if you have great ideas and another opportunity I find in St. John is that because we're a small city we don't necessarily have the market or the mass populace that the bigger cities have so there's certain areas which we're lacking so certain businesses that I've been involved with with other great people would be happiness for example a wine bar there wasn't one in the city um, here newspaper back in 2000 with yes. Janet Scott and Mark Legier and Remember Stephen well. Yeah. Um, you know, all of these uh, businesses didn't exactly exist and um, they're, they might not be creative in the art sense, but they're creative in making a, a creative city, as we always hear from Richard Florida. And then to take that a step further, Punch Productions, which was marketing events and public relations and design, spun into doing interior design because that's been my passion for years and years, which is also a very creative um, business. And now the final business, which we're just about to launch in a month, is Tuck Studio, which is a right. design and decor studio in the lower level of this. In the lower level. So, okay, yes. so so we're gonna and we're gonna do a full interview. We're gonna have it in the Telegraph Journal. Okay. Um, and it's gonna be below this video, this amazing video. Now, okay. tell me a little bit as I pan around. I'm just gonna. It's gonna. It doesn't. It won't do it justice. But where are we right now? Sure. So we are located at 40 Autumn Street, which is uh, coined by our architects Stephen Kopp and Monica Adair into the wild. And um, it's 2.3 hectares of land that's been vac vacant for five decades. And uh, my husband and I, Robert Moore, um, we decided to build a modern house right in the center of the city. And uh, as you can see from the views, you have everything from industry to, you know, the church steeples, which I love. Um, you know, then you've got the waterfront as well, looking over onto the west side. You can't see much of anything right now because all the trees have come in which is where we get our term into the wild. Right. It's very sort of secluded. But it's a green initiative house. We have a reclaimed snow fence uh, on the outside of the house. And to your left, Dave, you'll just see there's going to be sedum green roofs uh, that are going to have um, Carl Foresters over on the garage. And it's just um, an, a sort of a new initiative to, to the province. So we're pretty excited about that as very well. Very cool. Well, one thing um, that I find amazing about you, Judy, is you, uh, 
you, you're very intentional, you make things happen, and it's so cool to see this because I know it's a, a passion project, um, and I, I'm hoping I can come back and check it out when we have it, uh, when it's fully done yeah. in... Uh, we're moving in uh, June 20th. Cool. Fingers crossed. Yeah, okay, thanks Judy.